Hello everyone. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be trying something new out. It's an idea that me and my brother came up with, and if you like it, you can expect to see more of these, and if you don't, then we'll probably keep making them anyway, because it was very fun for us to make. I'll go over the basic concept really quickly. Uh, each video, me and my brother Jack will uh, discuss a film, uh, and try and predict what each other will think of it before we've seen it. Then, after the film, we'll come back and see whether we were right. And the film for the first editions of Brothers Review is going to be Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, and uh, before we start, a bit of a framing issue we had uh, with the first half of the video. It resolves itself later on, but uh, yeah, for the first couple of shots you're going to get a lot of our legs, not so much of the uh, head. Anyway, here you go. Jack. Yes. Guardians of the Galaxy. What do you know about it already? Um, it's a Marvel film mm. with that guy in that guy. the Lego movie. <laughs> oh, um, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. We got a wrestler guy. I can't remember his name. David did something. Barrister, whatever his name. David Barrister. <laughs> David Barrister. <laughs> they go and do crazy stuff, and then he like covers the legal <laughs> matters of it. So he's in it. Whatever oh, his name is. David Barrister. Shut up. I saw the first trailer for this film. I saw Peter Serafinovich in it, and I was like, I'm Peter watching Serafinovich this film. Peter Serafinovich is in it? In the first trailer. Peter Serafinovich is in this film. It's gonna be a good movie. Yes, okay, that's my point. From what you know about, hmm? what are you looking forward to the most? Um, the crazy CGI. They look like, I don't, like in the second trailer maybe, or first trailer, I don't know, there were like some crazy, like, there was some sequences cool. with spaceships and gunfights. I just wanna like, you know when you go and watch a movie and you know you paid like, nine or ten pounds to watch yeah, it. Yeah. I just want to sit there and just have explosions mm. and aliens and funny jokes. We all know that in 12A films, yeah. you're allowed one use of the word fuck. Yep. Who do you reckon will say the fuck? Uh, I mean, obviously no one's thinking like we are. Thinking like, who's going to say the one fuck word? Well, it's but important. It's important you get one fuck. So I think they're going to like, they're going to lead it up as though it's going to be like one of the random aliens and then Chris Pratt will just stare into the camera just saying fuck you <laughs> I don't know, he'll I look he'll look deeply into Th Thanos' eyes Thanos is in it Thanos is in it who's Thanos Thanos is the guy at the end of the <laughs> like, he's, he's in it yeah well, briefly he's not the main guy but he's going to be in this one for the first time and do you know who's played by James Spader no that's, that's Ultron do you know who's played it's Josh Brolin <laughs> I think it's going to be Rocket Raccoon shut you. up I think it's going to be Rocket Raccoon that says it okay Okay. Is that Rocket the Raccoon? Rocket the Raccoon. And Groot the Tree. Groot the Tree. And <laughs> James the Barrister. <Baris. laughs> so, final conclusions. Jack. Yes. What do you think my response to this film will be? Um, I think also it'll be like... I think you'll be a bit disappointed. Really? I think you'll be disappointed. I think you'll... A bit pessimistic. You'll enjoy it, but you'll, you'll, your little mind will be like, oh, I could have done this better, or I could have done this better, or... Wish they hadn't done this. Generally positive, but with a little bit of like a okay. tinge of disappointment. Fair enough. I think you're either going to be nine out of ten, or like a three out of ten. It's going to be a Marmite movie. For you. For me specifically. That good. See Let's you. See. see you when it is finished. <laughs> We've seen the film, and we can see our faces. Okay, so what were, our, what were our predictions of what we were going to think from before? I thought you were going to be a bit disappointed with it. I thought you were going to like bits of it, but you would have seen ways you could have made it better, so you would have given it like a 7 out of 10. Yeah. Which was very close. I think I think an 8 was closer for me. Yeah. Lots of the film was great. I thought that the characters were amazing. I thought that the writing was very good, and there were some hilarious jokes in there. But the problems were uh, the story. And the story was... A bit crap. Was he called Ronan the Accuser? What was that with him? Right. Like he yeah. was he was boring. Yeah, he was blue and he had like crusty stuff on his face. <laughs> he had crusty face. Didn't he wake up and he had those like old men just like stroking him? <laughs> what were they doing? They were like rubbing <laughs> sand on him or something. <laughs> Why did he had to paint the crusty face on? Oh they were painting him. Painting I thought his they were just like face. stroking him. <laughs> he didn't just I get, can't remember he, what doesn't, he doesn't get his his beautiful crusty face naturally. He had like a be a big bedroom filled with black goo and just like four old men who just <laughs> sat in the corners of the room and he would wake up completely <laughs> naked and the old man would just like stroke him. See that's there's backstory is needed there. What I predicted for yeah. you is I thought you were going to be on the extreme. I thought you were going to love it you are going to hate it and I was completely wrong wasn't I? Um, I think I was the same as you. Yeah it was very similar. 
Um, I yeah, I, I you said like either a nine or a three, and I'd give it an eight. Mm. I th- I agreed the same. I think it was the f- funniest film I've Which seen is in too ages. Too similar. Funny. <laughs> what if we are the same person? That was shit. <laughs> Sorry, that was really crap. <laughs> We're not the same person. <laughs> the two questions at the end of this was yeah. Uh, would you watch it again? And would you watch a sequel? And for me, uh, I would watch it again. I hope you yeah. will watch it again. And definitely, I'd watch a sequel because definitely. I think that the what has been laid there in the first film has so much promise in it that a mm. sequel could be much better. So they're all good, basically. Who's Very your favorite, who's your favorite character? Um, there wasn't like a week, yeah, like yeah. like with the Avengers. I feel like you can say like Hawkeye is like, eh, what does he do? Hawkeye was he? I actually, I think I'm gonna say because I wasn't expecting it at all. Yeah. David the barrister. It was for me as well. I think his his. Part was harder. I, I said this to you before yeah. because he was acting around CGI because mm. he was kind of lumped in with Rocket the Raccoon and Groot the Tree thing the whole time. So he had to act around CGI characters. He yeah. didn't really a lot of the scenes he had to kind of act this like kind of genuine straight face character and yeah, be all yeah. earnest around like crazy like you imagine him acting there. There would have been green screen, a little dot on a stick, yeah. and he's covered in ridiculous makeup, and he has to actually yes. like be funny, <laughs> which is hard. Yeah, I imagine I've never tried. This is a controversial, yeah. controversial thing to say, mm-hmm. but I'm going to say anyway. Go for it. Iron Man Three is my favorite Marvel film. <sighs> Look into the camera when you say that. I have to justify myself very quickly. Iron Man Three is yeah. my favorite Marvel film because, uh, although I can see that the Avengers was a lot probably better made mm-hmm. and it was a lot more difficult to do and there was a lot more peace and I love Joss Whedon I don't yeah. bit, but um, Iron Man 3 went into that film was not expecting much and it completely blew me away yeah. I thought it was going to be very serious it turned out to be one of the most one of the funniest films I saw that year mm. uh, it had, it's the same thing it had a genuine twist that yeah. I did not see coming which Wait, is hard to do what was the twist? the Mandarin oh yeah oh yeah exactly had a genuine twist that was possibly coming and it had a man breathing fire Oh. Like that, you come when you can't. That's that's a good film. The reason why they are still going is yeah. because they are not only good films, but they're risky films. Right. That they, they take they, risks. They, yeah, they've gone. This is a terrible idea. Let's do it, and it's worked. Like again, yeah. or at least in a film basis. I'm not sure if it's going to work commercially. I think it's doing quite well. I kind of want the the new Star Wars film to be like that. I know it won't be because it's mm. going to be far too like earnest, yeah, 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 and it isn't really like a comedy director. But I just feel like that's what I'd compare it to most. Would be like, um, what's the first one called? A New Hope. Okay. In some ways, obviously, yeah. it's not really as funny. Maybe like the sixth one with all the Ewoks. We've both given it an eight out of ten. Uh, yeah, I'd say it. It's a f- four star film. Yep. Um, maybe a. Mm, week, week four stars. Week four stars. Oh uh, yeah, I'd I say would say it's like a four point five. I'd say it's a four. Okay. Right. So an eight rather than nine. Right. I'm gonna put up on the screen what you've given it, and I'm oh, gonna really decide okay. exactly what you thought it was without you telling me. But I just told you. I mean, like I might add like a four point two. Right. Okay. I get it. Better. Okay. One. Four point zero seven. Okay. Let's go with that.